What is going on fishing people? Today I'm at Blue Lake trying to catch some trout. There's also some bass here. I don't know if they're spawning yet in this lake. I really don't fish this lake, so I'm about to go find out. So I have some white flukes and I have a jig and I have uh, some cross stuff that I'm gonna fish on these beds for a little bit. Also, I heard they put some steelhead in here in January and someone reported catching one yesterday. So steelhead in the lake, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go try to catch that as well. Anyways, stay tuned. Hopefully we get some trout and bass and steelhead. I'm gonna throw a bad boy back in the water. Boop. Was it that long? What? Was it that long ago? Fish on. Yeah. No, he's gonna twitch. Don't make me bonk you like seventeen thousand times. You good? All right. Now you're chill. I'm sure he's got some internal things going on now. You see him smack it, dude? He's like, smack! I told you, I'm here. All right? I said I told you I'm here. All right, back-to-back -back cast. Right here, right here. Steelhead. Yeah. Oh, right there, right there. Right there, right there. Must not face the rain. Kelly's like, I'm just gonna spin through it, dude. I'm tough. All right, taking a break from the trout for a hot minute. There we go. We can cast out again, ladies and gents. Keeper. So far. Good out. You need some good eating. Alright guys, just a little update. I caught four trout. Actually I caught five but I released one. And then uh, release the next few fish that I catch and then uh, stay fishing. This guy's trying to catch fish too. Catch anything yet? No. Anyway, so I've got four. I'm 
gonna limit out with five today, but I'm just gonna fish for a little bit longer. All right, man. Peace. fish of the day. My last fish of the day. Yeehaw. Yay. What's going on everybody? I caught my limit today at this lake. Caught my five. So they just stocked this lake so I wanted to talk a little bit about trout and and how they act when they just get poured into a lake, in my opinion. So, their days, because of climate change, you know, they get they go from uh, the hatchery or wherever they're raised and then they get poured from a truck into the lake. And when that happens, the fish are all like dazed and confused and they act lethargic and they, they bite more out of reaction or spite than out of hunger, in my opinion. So, usually when that happens, I just throw nothing but spinners and spoons, stuff that shines you know maybe a wedding ring or whatever but the blue fox has always really done it for me um it's kind of getting worn out you can tell i use it a lot <laughs> but i got this straight braid i have a, a swivel but that's just because i had another rig on here for carp so i just you know i use the same rig you don't need a leader or anything like that you can just tie a spinner to straight braid you're good to go um another thing when when the stock trout start you know getting more acclimated with the lake and there's still fish to be caught then you can start throwing your power eggs and i usually run a pink this pink color is like dynamite for these fish you know um when they get acclimated and then also the green power bait you can even run the little trout pellets i don't have any with me right now but when uh when they first get stocked throw something that they can react to you know something shiny that jumps in their face you'll see them following it every now and then sometimes and uh when they get acclimated to the lake throw some power eggs power bait worms other things to where they can hang out around the bait on the bottom for a long time and bite out of hunger that's the difference between stock trout that have been there for a day and stock trout that have been there for a week anyways guys as always Thank you for watching and thank you for all the new subscribers. It really helps out and I appreciate that. Till next time, tight lines. Brought you trout. Hey, you don't get none of that. You don't get none of that. So we are going to be cooking a rainbow trout that I caught today. I'm gonna use grandma's recipe, so don't, so don't uh, talk grandma's recipe. You're gonna roll it in flour. First thing you're gonna do. So I just kind of open it like that. Then I'm gonna put all the flour on on the cutting board. According to Grandma, it helps keep the meat moisture, so the bones are really easy to pull out. And Grandmas are always right, by the way. Then you're gonna get your frying pan ready. Take some butter. Yeah, I'm using margarine. It's not real butter. That's all guys. Put some butter in the frying pan. Let that sizzle. Grab your little trout. Boom. Toss it on there. That's what you're gonna do. Flour and butter. You don't need a whole lot of butter. Get some butter on that side too. Remember, grandmas are always right. Yeah.